Oh, hi. Come on in. Have a seat. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. It's nice to be able to uh, have a face to put to the name. I just want to congratulate you for making it this far. I know you've had a lot of uh, preliminary interviews leading up to this, the final interview. And you're at this stage, which is great. It means that you outshined all of the other applicants. Um, it's just down to like a few of you now. So uh, it looks good. I also have your file pulled up here on the computer. And I have to say, everything looks uh, pretty impressive. So that's good. Um, now, I don't want you to be nervous or, you know, worried about this. I know there might be um, a lot of pressure, but, you know, uh, just relax. I like to try to keep things uh, kind of informal, kind of just keep this kind of easy. And it's more of like a chance for the company to get to know you better. Maybe you can get to know us better. So don't stress it. In fact, sometimes, like when I get nervous, like I even get nervous <laughs> giving the interviews. So what I like to do to help relax myself sometimes, and this might work for you too, is uh, let's see. Oh, I have a little bouncy ball. So uh, maybe this will help you too. We can both relax. So I like to just take it and I go. I just drop it and bounce it like that. Sometimes I, I do it low so that it goes really quick. You know, when I was in the other office, see, I have my own office right now, as you can see. I think I've done pretty well for myself, so it's kind of nice. Uh, corner office, and I got some windows. I have a really nice view. Um, and uh, privacy is cool. I have my privacy, that's nice. But um, when I, you know, shared an office and had other people with me, and I'd be bouncing my ball like this, they'd start to irritate people, and they'd, like, throw stuff at me, tell me to quit. They try to hide my ball, bouncy balls, but, uh, but um, anyway, so not sure uh, if that helped or not, but it certainly helps me relax. So let's get down uh, to the interview. I have uh, just different questions I'm going to ask you, and I just want you to take your time. Don't worry about, you know, a right or wrong answer, just kind of what you kind of feel. And I'm going to enter the stuff here just for so I can remember, and um, we'll take it from there. So, um... Tell me, uh, where do you see yourself uh, in five years? That's nice. That's, that's probably cool. But more, more importantly, where do you see our company, this company, five years from now because of your employment here? Hmm. Um... I'd like you now to uh, describe yourself, but only using one word. No, five words, adjectives. Five adjectives that best describe you. What would those be? Let's see. Why don't you tell me about some of your successes, things like that you're most proud of, and it can be like anything. It doesn't have to be job related. It could be, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, you beat someone at horseshoes once at uh, another company picnic, or uh, you know, you did really well uh, with a speech that you gave. Just you know, what was uh, something a success or a successful achievement? Something successful that you did that you're proud of. And, uh, okay, now kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, what is your biggest failure? Now, what's to keep you from failing yet again and, you know, letting, letting not only yourself down, but, like, your coworkers and, well... Maybe even the company. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, the computer froze up. And just a minute. Allison, yes, can you have IT come uh, take a look at my computer later on this afternoon or whatever? It's freezing up again. I'm trying to conduct an interview and I can't even get my information entered because, yeah, yes, th thank you. Ridiculous. Anyway, okay, so, um, well, let's see. I have, uh, while we're waiting for this to unfreeze, I got this, uh, Another stressy bit, uh, like a little stress ball. And sometimes I just uh, like to play with this. I like to just hold it in my hands. Sometimes I like squish it. And I like pretend like it's, uh, like it's my competition. And I'm just like crushing them. I'm just crushing the competition. Like this is their head. And I'm just like, just mangling it but it's kind of it's kind of colorful too just play with it see that feels kind of neat I like the way it sounds and I'll just focus on like the sound and how it feels and yeah but uh I'm gonna set that aside there Still frozen up. Want some candy? I got some candy. Let's see. I got this. Some grape. This grape candy. You know, another nice thing about my office is the AC is amazing. It gets so nice and cool in here. Um, and then when it gets cold, which rarely happens around here, but when it does get cold, uh, I can make it nice and toasty warm, so it's kind of a cool thing about about this. I like my office and my candy. And there's something about the sound of a wrapper. Not not like a music wrapper, but you know, like this candy wrapper here. Yeah. Oh, hey, good. We're on. We're back online. Fantastic. Okay, where were we? Uh, never mind that. Uh, let's see. I'll just go on to the uh, next question. Uh, now, if you were a kitchen appliance, let's say, yeah, you're a kitchen appliance, what, what kitchen appliance would you be? Hmm. And why that one? What kinds of things, like what motivates you? What's a uh, motivation for you? Uh -huh. Okay. How about like a distraction? Do you have a motivational morning routine or something you do like to get yourself going and get yourself psyched up? Maybe you do something in front of the mirror or maybe like uh, on your way to work or wherever you're going, like when you're in the car. Uh, like just your morning routine as it pertains to like psyching yourself up. I got all kinds of routines myself. Pretty neat things, yes. You know, sometimes I like to uh, practice my multitasking. And so what I'll do is I'll type, like, using one hand. I type one hand. So, like, maybe I'll be doing this hand. And then, you know, this one I can, uh, be, like, messing with my, my, uh, like, little stress, other stress ball here. And I'm typing and doing this. And then, uh, you know, I can do this hand. Maybe I need to, like, take a phone call. So, uh, maybe I'm, like, calling on the phone. Talk. Oh, hello? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean to, uh, to call you. I was, um, uh, giving a demonstration about, um, multitasking. And, um, 
um, must have inadvertently <laughs> hit a button and dialed you, so... Yes. Well, keep up the good work. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Anyway, yeah, most multitasking is uh, something I, I really like to do. Um, let's see. Well, I think that might about do it for our uh, questions and everything. Uh, just a minute. I'm going to check your shoes because, uh, you know, they say you can tell about a person by the shoes that they wear. Uh, I haven't really figured out a, necessarily a solid metric for that, how to measure it. But, um... And I'm just kind of curious and just note it down. Maybe I can plug it in somewhere later. Uh, so, anyway, um, you know, things are looking really good. Uh, it looks like you pretty much got the job. Uh, you can be confident about that. Nothing to worry about. This is a pretty good company. I think you'll find. We have a lot of different things for the employees. We have, uh, well, for instance, like a golf league. And a fishing league if you don't like golfing, so you can join that. I know they have different prizes. They meet, uh, you know, different times. And, uh, in fact, there's a golf tournament coming up in a few weeks. Uh, I'm part of the, the golfing league. I kind of, in fact, just a minute. Allison. Yes, how's my schedule looking for tomorrow? Yeah, you know what? Can you... Mm, I need to get to the T early. Would you cancel my appointments for tomorrow afternoon after like 2.30? Yeah, I just need the... Everything after 2.30 cleared out. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah. I got to get to the T before those Omnicore guys do. Man, they are like a very big distraction or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of different activities. And you know, around here, we like to... Uh, you know, we like to be innovative. We like to, to think outside the box... We like to think inside the box, and then sometimes we take the box and turn it inside out and then think inside of it like there. But, you know, with everybody thinking outside the box, no one's, like, inside the box anymore, so maybe we can hit new new, new ideas by being inside the box. Think, thinking, wait a minute, thinking inside the box is the new outside the box. Just a minute. Allison. Yes, I need you to make a memo for our next... Uh, newsletter, yes, the company newsletter, um, and it's going to do have to do with thinking inside the box is the new outside the box. Yes, that's right, inside the box. We're thinking inside the box now. Yes, yes, I, I'll explain it all later. I'm I'm in the middle of a, 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 an interview. Ah, bye bye. When I get a stroke of genius, I gotta I gotta note it down so they don't forget. I got all these ideas coming, so I just can't you know afford to lose them. So I let her know anyway. Um, but yes. Uh, I think you will enjoy working here. Uh, congratulations on being hired. Uh, the next step for you will be to go down to HR. They'll get your uh, paperwork processed and finished. They'll get you your company ID. They'll get you a security badge. They'll um, take care of all different stuff you might have. Oh, yeah, did you have any questions for me? Anything you want to ask? Anything you want to know? Um, actually, you know what? Those are... are Good questions, and I'm sure they have great answers, but probably HR would better be able to answer that for you, or you can check with your supervisor, ask them, and they'll be able to help you out. So, yeah, if you just head on down to HR, they'll get all that stuff for you, and they'll assign you a, a schedule, your work schedule. It looks like your salary base is going to be, I think, level 2A, which is in your handbook, but that's uh, pretty good. Starting out, very nice, yeah. So, uh, it was good meeting you, good putting a face to the application and information. Um, I might see you around, might not, but hopefully I can. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by.